Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite intellectual instigator back today with a new segment of the show that I'd like to call Dummy of the Week. My reasoning for wanting to do this is because, as we can all agree, there are some dumbass people out here in the world these days, and they're always saying some dumb shit. So, I, for one, have reached my breaking point. So, that means basically now, I'm going to start pulling people's cards and putting everybody on blast every time I hear them say something stupid or read something stupid with their name attached to it. I don't give a fuck if I'm a fan of theirs or if they're a friend of mine. It's on. Which brings me to the winner of today's Dummy of the Week Award, Alan fucking Moore. Yes, you heard me correctly. The same man who wrote the critically acclaimed comic book stories Watchmen and The Killing Joke, which I believe to be both vastly overrated, but that's a debate for another day recently did an interview with Vulture on September 12, 2016 as part of a press run to promote his new book that he has coming out and during the course of this interview Alan Moore decided to take some shots at modern comic books and the modern audiences of comic book movies. In this interview Moore basically summed up his argument against the current state of superhero comics by calling those who consider themselves fans of the genre as willfully participating in unhealthy escapism and I quote The superheroes of my youth had dogs that dressed in capes and masks. It's obvious they stand for nothing more than the power of imagination. I tend to see a lot of those current figures as the focus of a kind of unhealthy escapism. I can understand the desire to hang on to your childhood, but it turns out you can't. There's nothing wrong with having fond feelings about this or that, but you don't have to carry it with you your whole life like some sort of magic armor. Really, bruh? First of all, homie, You should be the last person talking about unhealthy escapisms when you look like a homeless wino who just escaped from an insane asylum. Second of all, what the fuck are you even talking about? What the fuck is unhealthy about using your imagination to enjoy something that allows you to escape from reality for a short period of time? Tell me what the fuck healthy escapism is on top of that. Smoking hash and writing stories like Lost Girls? Get the fuck out of here. And since when did hanging on to things that made you happy in your childhood become a bad thing? I'm so sick of people always acting like just because you reach a certain age, you're no longer allowed to enjoy certain things because they are associated with being childish. If enjoying something that stimulates you, inspires you, or entertains you is childish, I don't give a fuck. Sign me the fuck up. What am I supposed to do? Read your corny ass 1300 page book about some shit that I don't even care about? Nah, player. I mean, come on, seriously, bro. It's stupid logic as soon as you think about the fact that damn near everything you love to do as an adult started out as something that you liked or something that you brought that brought you joy as a kid. Most of the musical you like, the food you love, the hobbies you're good at, the kinds of stories you enjoy all started in your fucking childhood. And just because things have changed since the days when your old dusty ass was a kid doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. Times fucking change. So miss me with that bullshit, Mr. Moore. Get with the program or simply change the channel. In another part of the interview, the journalist asks him, So the success of superhero movies, for example, has less to do with the characters proving that they can be narratively interesting or embodying popular ideas about the culture and more to do with audiences getting increasingly immature? And this motherfucker had the audacity to say, when I look at the current situation with these superhero movies, I have to wonder. So if I read that and I understand it correctly, it sounds like this old crusty Dr. Wiley from Mega Man looking motherfucker who hasn't written a relevant story or contributed anything valuable to the comic book culture for years upon years is actually insinuating that people like me who enjoy modern comic book movies are immature. Like really homie? Why I gotta be immature? Because I like to have my imagination stimulated in my free time. That's a real dickhead comment, for real. He must have missed the memo because this is actually the golden age of comic book movies. And the comic books that the movies have been adapted from have never been better in my opinion. And I don't think there are very many people that would disagree with me on that. As far as comic books in general go, the art is light years beyond what comics he used to buy look like. The writing is still pretty good uh, from case to case when you take into effect that nobody, not everybody can write a V for Vendetta type story every time they put a story out. And there are dozens of characters that embody attributes and elements of today's society. So I really don't understand where all this is coming from when I read shit like that. Not only has the modern day comic book movie genre proved that it can make good films with interesting and deeply philosophical narratives that are influenced by modern society, 
They have also proved that the characters the films are based on, although not real, can still be very relatable to people in their real life experiences when looked at in the proper context. I mean, has this dude never seen or read a Spider-Man story? Peter has got to be one of the most relatable comic book characters in history, so don't tell me that bullshit. Think about it. Movies like Batman vs. Superman challenged you to think about man and his relationship with the idea of gods. X-Men is a story built on the foundation of seeing characters go through persecution and oppression just for being who they are. Winter Soldier and Civil War made you question your idea of what the government is really capable of and what their role in society is. I mean, the list goes on and on. So get the fuck out of here, Alan, with that bullshit looking like a registered sex offender and shit. Now look, before anybody jumps on, jumps down my throat, I understand that Alan Moore has certainly written some pretty good stories in his time, no matter how overrated I think they may be. I've read and enjoyed some of his work myself, but I've always been put off about how he regularly dismisses an artistic medium that has given him fame and money while still remaining in that industry getting more fame and money. It's simply disrespectful to the fans and it's beyond pretentious. To be honest, I think this dude is out of touch. Because when you come out and say some shit that basically sounds like you're saying, comics are for 12 year olds and unhealthy for adults to like, don't forget to buy my new book, Jerusalem on Sale Now, I really have no problem telling you that you sound like an idiot who smoked one too many mothballs back in the 60s or something. But the moral of the story is, don't make generalizations about people and criticize them for things that make them happy or entertain them, especially when it's obvious you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.